collaboration between the city of Oakland and the city of Berkeley, um, and also really uh, having a, a positive impact for all residents and businesses along the San Pablo corridor, uh, which is, if you don't already know, is a state highway. Um, uh, as you can see from our various press releases, this is going to be an incredible route. Um, it's a one mile roadway on this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. that is closed to car traffic and jam packed with 60 plus activities, music, performances, uh, community based organizations, as well as businesses that are going to stay open and invite everybody to come and discover what's on the route. Um, this is a regional and cross municipal effort, but also. Along here with us, I'm really delighted to see local champions, um, local business owners, uh, the partnership between Walk Oakland, Bike Oakland, and the Downtown, Visit, uh, Downtown Berkeley Association, as well as the North Shattuck Association. We are putting our resources together and building a fantastic season of three Open Streets events. Also wanting to introduce you to the production team out there. Uh, we have Sammy Roberts, Sarah Kidder, and Steve Tippett from uh, part of the town events um, as our production team for all three events. Uh, I'm Chris Vaughn. I'm with Walk Open by Open. I am the board president of Wobo. Um, we've been producing Open Streets events since 2010. Our mission as an organization is uh, improving neighborhood livability, vitality, and sustainability by making walking and bicycling safe, easy, Successful and fun. So, open streets events. Open streets events like Saturday's event are what I would consider a pop up community and roadway ecosystem. It's car free, it's commercial free, it's all about health, it's all about movement. And what we're most about is that it's trying to foster connections between people who live here and the businesses that are open on this particular route. Uh, we're, Wobo is a membership-based organization that is an advocate for better walking and bicycling, but what we're also modeling is a great solution for our climate issues, for congestion management, for economic development, but also for the health and well-being of entire communities, people, and places. So um, our first speaker up here uh, I'd like to introduce you to is a council member from City of Oakland, uh, District 1, Dan Call. Um, I consider Dan uh, the person, um, one of few leaders in the City of Oakland who actually walk the walk and actually bicycles regularly and embodies a lot of what Lobo stands for. Thank you, Chris. Uh, I, I'm thrilled to be here once again. Uh, last year, we had uh, our first Love Our Neighborhood Day here in the Golden Gate uh, neighborhood of Oakland. It uh, stretched, uh, but that one was only Oakland. Now we're stretching it onto Berkeley. Uh, and you know, it was it, it was a fun day last year. It was a it was the first time. It was very exciting. And now we're expanding upon that. When you do something good, you, you make it better. You do something that that's nice, you make it nicer. You do something that's big, you make it bigger. And that's what we're doing. Uh, and so we're thrilled to join with our friends and partners in, in the city of Berkeley or this, this part of the city of Berkeley and expand Love Our Neighborhood Day because uh, one neighborhood is not an island. We work together with our folks and that when we build up one neighborhood, we help all neighborhoods that are nearby and that's what we're, one thing we're doing today. I want to point out that a couple years ago when someone said, we're going to shut down San Pablo, I said, huh? I said, I don't know if that could be done. You have to deal with Caltrans, state agency. Well, it was done last year, and we're doing it again this year. So the idea that we're shutting down San Pablo to cars is very exciting. I'm thrilled. That deserves a round of applause and excitement for all. Uh, and that, uh, you know, that the Golden Gate neighborhood and the neighborhoods surrounding the Golden Gate neighborhood that go through, that's where San Pablo goes through, we're not just a place where you go through. 
from one place to another. We are a neighborhood in and of itself with, with residents, with businesses, with excitement, with pride, with character. And that's what the Golden Gate neighborhood is. And that's why we're doing our Love Our, Love Our Neighborhood Day in Oakland. This is going to be a day of discovery, a family-friendly day. If you could walk here, bike here, take transit here. If you have to drive, you can drive and park a ways away and walk to this area. But if you don't bring your car if you don't have to. Walk, bike, have fun. This is going to be a very exciting day to showcase our businesses, to showcase entertainment that is, is nearby, uh, and to have, have fun all day. 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. this Saturday. Come to Oakland, come to South Berkeley, enjoy fun, fun, fun with your family, and enjoy a, a car-free day uh, for all and show, and you'll see what the excitement is and the pride that is in the neighborhood of the Golden Gate uh, District of Oakland and beyond. So thanks so much for being here, and we hope to see you Saturday. I've never uh, participated in an Open Streets event. Uh, this is actually not just a, an East Bay movement. This is something that San Francisco also started in tw uh, 2009. Um, there are Sunday Streets events throughout San Francisco um, now in Berkeley, but also throughout the rest of the Bay Area uh, and around the world. There are cities like London finally getting around to doing their first Open Streets event. Um, Paris, Tokyo, South Korea. It's an international movement. This is not going to be the last time you'll be hearing about uh, open street events. Um, but uh, speaking about regional support, you know, Wobo has always enjoyed long standing support air quality management district. Um, thinking of open street as a uh, regional affair. Um, to introduce you to the director of policy, Henry Hilton from the district. All right. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for uh, hosting this event. Uh, I'm Henry Hilton. I'm the Director of Planning at the Bay Area Air Quality Management District. We are really, really pleased to sponsor East Bay Open Streets this year uh, because we are in charge of assuring clean air for the nine-county Bay Area and for protecting the climate. And um, in the Bay Area, transportation is the main source of air pollution. It's the main source of greenhouse gases. So we simply will not uh, be able to continue to clean the air and to protect the climate if we don't reduce the amount that we drive. It's as simple as that. And so these types of open streets events to get people out exploring their neighborhoods on foot, on their bikes, really um, we consider to be very just directly related in supporting our clean air mission. Um, over the years we have funded and supported lots of, of bicycle and pedestrian projects. We funded bike lockers and bike racks, bike lanes and bike routes. Uh, two years ago, we launched a pilot program for Bay Area Bike Share, which just recently, just yesterday, uh, it was announced over at the Metropolitan Transportation Commission that the Bay Area Bike Share program is going to expand dramatically next year and providing 1,400 bikes in Berkeley, Oakland, and Emeryville. So we're really, really excited about expanding that. It's going to really help um, just provide more opportunities for people to bike uh, in the East Bay. Um, so we, we, we support a lot of capital projects like that, but we, we also are very supportive of programs like East Bay Open Streets. Um, just because, as I said, they really support our clean air mission. They help get families out and sort of exploring their neighborhoods, um, not using their cars. Um, get out on your rollerblades. Feet, and just sort of explore ways of getting around without driving. Um, we're really excited that the city of Oakland and the city of Berkeley are cooperating this year and coordinating their open streets. They both have had programs for several years now that we've been very supportive of, and now they're coordinating, working with Wobo. Wobo's doing a great job bringing them together, and um, so we're just thrilled to support this event. Um, as I said, reduced driving is really a basic part of our Spare the Air message and our commuter benefit program. And so we think East Bay Open Streets starting this Saturday will just be another opportunity to get families out and exploring their neighborhoods and really thinking about what folks can do to spare the air every day. So I um, encourage everybody to come out this Saturday and the next two events later in the year.
Uh, we'll be we'll be got opportunity to actually to highlight all three cities. If you look at the map, you see that all the cities are touched by this. And I think it's really an opportunity for us to continue to build the kind of success that we've had in the past. We'll reach across the line and we, we actually work on a regional message that we're all in this together. When you go from Berkeley, you can't tell when you're in Emeryville, particularly. You can't tell in North Berkeley when you go towards Oakland and it's Oakland. It's all one area. And the more we can cooperate, the better off we're all going to be. So I'm very excited. I'm also excited about the fact that as Henry Elton just mentioned to you, I'm, I'm actually the, as the chair of the Air District when we started the idea of, of having bikes here. And that Scott Hagman is a, a county supervisor was very instrumental. But we were able to take that idea, pilot it with the Air District, and then along came a firm that's going to be able to provide over 7,000 bikes in the Bay Area. So we're really, really excited. And it's all in the East Bay at this point with San Francisco and then the East Bay cities of Oakland, Emeryville, and Berkeley participate. So we're really on the move. But Saturday is a chance for people to come out, enjoy themselves, enjoy their family, have an opportunity to go to these various businesses that are here, see the musical venues and other things. So it's really a day of celebration. So congratulations, and we're looking forward to this being a huge success on Saturday and then coming back with two more events in the fall. So thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I want to, I'm going to introduce Daryl Moore. I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't introduce him. I'm sure he's on the program. And I, maybe I'll, but I would like to introduce Daryl. Daryl has been on the city council and has been just one of the fantastic member of the city council. He's so concerned about what's working and what's happening and what's working to tie it in with the economic development that's going on around here. And he's been a stalwart of our fight to make sure that the environment is protected. So it's a great pleasure to serve with a guy like Daryl Moore. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad we had the opportunity to introduce Council Member Daryl Moore as his district the app all the way to the border of Oakland as well from the shore uh, over to the other Oakland border. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you on Saturday. Um, it's also really wonderful to be here with all the grassroots local businesses. I see Linda Barnhart there uh, from Bay Area Bikes, who's also going to be uh, renting out uh, bicycles for free on the route on Saturday. But standing next to me is one of our uh, strongest champions locally in getting 
the Open Streets Oklavia event here on South Temple Avenue. So um, I'd like to introduce you to Sal Bednars, uh, the owner of uh, Actual Cafe and Victory Burger. Woo, woo, woo. Oh. So stay tuned, we have a lot more coming. Thank you. Thank you. So I am going to conclude the talking part. Um, are there any questions from individuals out there?